Having completed the scoping phase in the media development model, Polly and the producer start to work on the content. The producer suggests building their story in three key scenes, with Polly as the storyteller. She challenges Polly to write a short narration for each scene, using a conversational style. After several rewrites, Polly completes the narration, but wonders if she's said enough. The producer reminds Polly that the visuals will bring extra depth and meaning to her story. And snippets from the unscripted interview between Polly and the carer will also introduce more valuable content. When Polly looks at the producer's visual ideas, she starts to get a better sense of the final product. I have a good feeling about this video, says Polly enthusiastically. I can't wait to see it all come together. As the content expert, Polly's done much of the heavy lifting to get her media project off the ground, with guidance from the producer. But having no production experience, Polly's glad to have access to an experienced producer to help her with her project. During the scoping and content development steps, the producer got to know Polly's story very well. She feels ready to do her key part and drive and deliver the logistical, technical and creative aspects of the project, with support from her production team. While Polly focuses on her role as on-camera talent, the producer organises and directs the shoot, then works alongside her creative team to develop the product. Polly receives work-in-progress previews from the producer and appreciates the opportunity to provide feedback and work with the team to improve the final product. She's excited to receive the handover media package and can't wait to release her video and tell her audience about her research. With the video completed, the project comes to an end. However, it's not all sit back and relax for Polly. For the video to create impact, it needs to reach the target audience. Luckily, Polly's been proactive and she's already developed a release plan to use in the release phase. In the plan, Polly's identified possible avenues to show, share and publish the video. And she's completed all tasks that were identified in the plan to get the release environments ready. Given that everything was in place, Polly released the video within minutes of receiving the handover package. One of the places she published the video was on YouTube. She shared the link with the producer. After weeks of hard work, they were both pleased to see the video reaching industry and community and receiving great feedback. It's now been six months since Polly's video was first released. A reminder flashed up on the producer's smartphone, prompting her to catch up with Polly for a review. Polly was delighted to hear from the producer. She was excited about the great response to her video and was looking forward to sharing her good news. Polly completed the review questionnaire in advance and gave more details over coffee. They talked about the success of the product, but also noted some ideas for improvement. They even had time to bounce around some concepts for future media products. At the end of the meeting, Polly said that she'd definitely be making more media products to engage people in her research, and will be referring to the four-phase media development model to remind her of the process. Polly was off to an international conference the week after her video launched. She often gave keynote presentations, but never before included a video about her research. Polly played the video immediately after her opening remarks. The video enabled Polly to take her audience into her lab and to demonstrate some critical research outcomes. If it wasn't for the video, there's no way she could have demonstrated the research outcomes with the same honesty and clarity. It was during the presentation when Polly saw firsthand the value of good visual storytelling. While waiting to board the plane home, 
Polly made note of all the things she could do to plan her media products early. There, she saved the file. And now, hmm, I think I've earned myself a bit of duty-free shopping, she thought, and closed her laptop.